Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> oh, the Japanese have found a strange sphere. Must be bloody Godzilla's egg or something. Looks like a Z on top of it there, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get a better look at this thing. What do you notice right on the top? That's a good shot. That's a good shot. What do you notice here in the middle? 316 stainless steel shackle. And in a radius about, you know, maybe nine inches, a foot away. What do you got there? Big circular piece. Yeah. So this looks to be a steel boy. I know this because we spray painted these when I was doing my apprenticeship. And what's happened is they've formed this thing one way or the other. There's probably some other little lines somewhere on this that are weld lines. And in the final move, they weld on the top piece, which gives you that little circular thing. <coughs> now, even if that brown isn't rust, and that's some sort of, you know, sea grassy shit or whatever, I still doubt that is the case, because I can see what I know to be pitting, which is another thing that I learnt in my apprenticeship. Because it was protective coatings and corrosion control. I can identify salt induced steel corrosion pitting or pitting former corrosion it's got a very distinctive look to it sometimes you'll see it in gun barrels or really old guns and stuff like that but uh, it's very much a corrosive thing can be caused by corrosive primers usually caused by seawater because that's the most common case you'll see it in so they've gone and welded that piece on the top. That's your last piece there. Failing that, if that is indeed some sort of high-density polystyrene, which is common for these sorts of things, that'll just be the mould that the polystyrene was formed inside of. And there you go. That's all it is. It's just a bloody boy. But see... <sighs> Instead of saying we shot down another Chinese balloon, it's a UFO, it's a this, it's a that, it's some other bloody bullshit. It's all got to be ooky spookies these days, you know, because we're trying to keep everyone's attention diverted from, you know, blatant corruption and baloney that's going on. So there you go.